So our project goal was to make a magnetorheological bike shock. Um, basically, we, we took a standard bike shock and replaced the fluid inside with one that reacts to a magnetic field. And then we used it, basically it varies the viscosity based on how much magnetic field. And then we use that uh, potentiometer to measure the position and activate based on the travel. We had a hand on coil and we had to custom machine a piston to change the flow type. And we also made it out of steel to increase the effect of the magnetic field. We also made the magnetorheological fluid ourselves. The two, two membranes that are held separate, they get pressed together and it outputs a variable resistance to an AD converter. When you compress the shock, you can see one of the LEDs lights up. That indicates that the coil is actually energized. We have a dyno run that actually shows there was a real difference when the coil is actually energized. We got, uh, again, about 100 pounds worth of difference between on and off. Uh, about a 20% difference. We used a Rorig EMA dyno or electromagnetic actuated. Touch screen, release like ride mode, and then When the green LEDs on, the coils uncharged. When the red LEDs go on, the coils charged.